the fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins, go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got a defensive gameplay video for you guys today. And this, to my, in my opinion, the defense I'm about to show you guys might be the most overpowered defense that I've put out yet. I don't want to call it the meta because I don't want anybody coming at me that's not the meta. But to me, this defense that I'm going to show you guys today, uh, it's insane. It's insanely overpowered. So I'm not trying to oversell it or undersell it. I'll let, you, I'll let the gameplay decide for you guys. Uh, as I'm going to show you guys three different games and be just completely waxing opponents with it. Uh, before I get into that, though, I, I think it's important to show you guys my setup, show you guys my defense. As you can see, I'm a 96 on offense, 97 on defense. I think if I had a 90, a higher rated overall fullback, I'd probably be a 97 on both. Um, I got some uh, pretty good chems locked up here. I got my lockdown on 50 out of 50. KC 25, Washington 25, Spring maxed out. I got pass rush to 10. I'm thinking about maybe trying to get that up a little bit more. Uh, as far as my superstar abilities, as far as my um, you know abilities go, uh, I pretty much just got zone hawk on his main people as I can get on and then I pretty much just got mid zone KO and acrobat on both my starting safeties and both my starting cornerbacks I've showed this setup before in the past uh, to me if you're going to run cover four quarters which is what I'm going to run this is probably the most important part this is going to give me a huge advantage as far as guys breaking on the ball and getting interceptions and stuff like that so to me I can't under I can't undersell that to me this is the definitely the setup you can see some of these guys only cost one for mid zone KO and one for acrobat some of them cost two uh, uh, so that's part of the reason that I still got Troy Vincent because Troy Vincent's won on both. Uh, and I think that's a pretty big advantage. So, uh, I mean, that plus the Washington camp. So that's my setup. Getting right into the gameplay. This is probably the first time that I saw 99 overall Tom Brady in a game. This is going to be the toughest game of his life uh, as he stands no chance. You're gonna, At the very least, you're going to need a quarterback with some mobility. Me on the other side, I got the same top three cards for like two months now. Love my top three cards. Uh, on the defensive side, starting off, I'm going to be using this formation right here. The 4-3 even 6-1. This is something that uh, I already put out in a breakdown. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to see the breakdown of this a little bit further. But it's really all about these two plays. The cover four quarters and the Sam Will Blitz. You can see I ran the Sam Will Blitz about 4,000 times. I've only allowed 2.9 yards uh, per play. On the other side, though, I'm going to be running the cover four quarters more. That play, you can see it has a higher average, but it's only because I haven't been running it the new way that I'm running it. This is my new play. This is the play that, in my opinion, like I said, it's, it's going to be one of the metas as far as defense goes. Now, as far as the setup goes, I will have a link in the description. I broke this play down in practice mode, so if you want to check that out, link in the description below. I'll also put a uh, breakdown. I'll put down a step by step on how to create this defense um, you know the full setup in the description if I forget to do either one of these let me know in the comment section and I will make sure to do it the setup is kind of lengthy but it's also really easy so we're gonna go Y triangle whether on Xbox or PlayStation and then hit uh, right on the left stick Y triangle again and then hit left on the left stick Y triangle one more time and then uh, right on the left stick again that's just to basically get the safeties and the cornerbacks where you want them then you're gonna want to blitz all your linebackers which is going to be D pad right and then uh, down. That'll blitz all your linebackers. You're also going to want to pinch your defensive line, which is going to be D pad left and down. And then you're also going to want to uh, make sure that you um, send your defensive line out. You want to slant them out, which is going to be D pad left and up on the right stick. That's the full setup. It may look like you're leaving yourself a little bit bare in coverage, but I'm going to show you guys how to make it seem like you're covering the entire field. We can go. Woo! So on the first play, you can see, boom, we get an instant sack right off the edge. That's going to be a consistent uh, theme throughout this video. It's going to be sacks, turnovers, takeaways, fumbles, interceptions, and touchdowns. This is one of the most overpowered defenses in the game, and you're going to see that against multiple opponents. Now, I used to run it where I basically used the linebacker, the middle linebacker, and dropped back into coverage. Now I find it's best to use this safety out here. This safety here, a lot of times, I mean, you're going to see a lot of the way these safeties are going to basically man up the guys right in front of them. So I try to take one that's kind of free but that might be the biggest caveat for a defense like this some people might not feel comfortable using a safety to the point where it's going to kind of give them problems but you can see the heat the pressure that you get instant you can't turn around and do a play action you can't even move you're going to see all the opponents that i run against this they can't even move they can't even complete a pass so third and 29 tom brady under some serious pressure again now he's backed up against the goal line this even cheats for him what and it still doesn't work gotcha, bitch. because you can see right there it gets like a nano detection or something slows down the blitzing middle linebacker and we're coming the other way with an interception Deion Sanders <laughs> 
coming up with a pick. And we're going to score on the very first offensive series. And my opponent has already had enough. See ya. He didn't even make it through the first series. But I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking Tom Brady's a statue. How's it going to work against a mobile quarterback? Very next opponent, we're going to have an opponent who has a maxed out Russell Wilson. So let's see how he does. Let's see how he does against this defense. This opponent here is not going to last much longer. I promise you. So first series, he's coming out with some split back stuff. But you can see this coverage, it, it looks like I got one step ahead on man coverage. I'm running zone coverages and everything is pretty much clamped. As you can see, we get a knockdown on the very next uh, snap. Like I said, I find it's best to use the safety. You can see on this next play, I actually get stuck trying to switch off. And sure enough, he gets a completion. That's probably the only success that people are going to have against this defense is when I don't get the setup in time. On the next play, I get the full setup in time. I get to switch over to the safety. This is, like I said, I find if I can use this safety properly, I'm going to lock down the entire field, cutting off the short stuff, making sure I don't give up nothing long. We can go! And we get another sack, an instant sack. I mean, this is just, you know, this this defense is going to get you so many sacks, so many turnovers, so many takeaways. On the next play, second and 18, people constantly are going to be digging themselves in a hole. You can see I'm playing under because I know they're going to try to hit those crossers. And I'm locking everything up. Like I said, no nope. part of my usering is part of the trick. I mean, obviously, if you can use it this well, it's going to make a big difference. Uh, on the next play, like I said, I'm taking away the short stuff because I know he has to throw short. He didn't even catch that. No nope. knock the ball out. We get a knockout. Now it's fourth and 18. The play my opponent's about to run, it looks like he's run the Saints playbook. This is a play that I put out early in the year. It looks like everybody knows about this because I'm going to see this twice. It's the exact same play you're going to see later in the video. Hits me with a drag and a fade concept on the left side, which obviously has a lot of success. He tries to bomb it up, but I'm Johnny on the spot, man. Like I said, gotcha, I'm killer on the sticks. I'm going to cover these routes. So you can see we get an interception. So first series ends exactly the way the same way the first series ended on the other uh, game, only I didn't score a touchdown. I was kind of mad I had to catch it, though. So on the next play, we're going to get all those yards back. We're going to go with the PA counter waggle. Uh, I just broke down the entire pistol offense on my Patreon and on my Join Now community tab so far. I will have the ebook out later in this week, but it's an amazing book. You guys are going to see, to me, it's the best offense in the game right now. First play is put the A route on a streak. Um, I haven't run a play yet, so my opponent won't see this coming, but typically I like to try to set this up with some run plays first. Uh, sure enough, he bites on the crossing route, the, the lower crossing route, leaving me just enough space over the top for the big one, and we're basically just flipping the field just like that. So even though I had to catch it and I lost all that field position I instantly get it right back so on the offensive side this formation right here might not look like much but this is probably the best offensive formation in this book and maybe one of the best in this game like i said later in the week you guys are going to see a gameplay out of this where this offense absolutely dominates I feel like between the offense that I'm running right now and the defense that I'm showing you guys in this video, like I said, the offense I'll show later in the week, but without a doubt, like these two schemes I'm showing you guys are going to break this game. So next play, I just see he's in man coverage, so I come out on some slants, give myself a little zig route on the tight end, and we're going to catch and run that. I love having uh, Vernon Davis at 97 speed. I don't know, he might be at 98. I'm not even sure, but he's super fast. He's a cheat code now. So back on the defensive side, like I said, we're only running one play. This entire video, we're only going to run this exact same play. I think we might run one play uh, outside of that and that's probably the man coverage as you can see right here i mean there's nothing really open like i said mobile quarterback gonna be important as you can see right here that's the only play this guy's gonna have that's really any success on the next play we're gonna switch it up though we're gonna hit him with the sam will blitz like i said this is the only time i run another play and it's in the same scheme i do this because it looks the exact same i can set it up the exact same my opponent's going to think it's the exact same play i use this man coverage when people are trying to hit short routes because you can see i mean i just take away the first one i see him gotcha, bitch. we get an interception look at the athleticism look at the juke move so that opponent's going to quit as well like i said this is the effect it's going to have See ya. so moving on the third game like i said you may not know right now but in future late in a future video later in the week you're going to see this is one of the glitchiest setups in the game right here hit the like button or let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a breakdown on the very next play i mean this just splits i don't know what defense he was running it looks like a cover three that's a cover three one play touchdown he didn't get it there because i actually had to change the setup last second but it is what it is and then this is my favorite run play in the game right now this speed option play is 30 uh, i'm probably averaging like close to 10 every time i run that play uh then on second and seven i actually got a five yard penalty to push me back a little bit second and seven we're gonna go we're gonna finish them off like i said the exact same setup um this is this play right here is a cheat code i'm not gonna go into it too much right now because it's a defensive video but you can see right here boom we just beat the cover two safeties right over the middle back on the defensive side like i said another opponent another russell wilson guy i don't know i guess people really love russell wilson i mean like i said it's good that they have mobile quarterbacks because they're gonna need it on the next play though it's not gonna matter gotcha, bitch. very first play we see that uh, rpo we just we just learn 
okay, we just drop all over that, and we get an interception. Very first play. Like I said, if you can use her like that, you can make plays with this defense all game. They're going to have to get the ball out super quick. On the offensive side, once again, like I said, I'm going to hit him with that speed option. I love this play. It's such a hard-to-stop play. It's such an annoying concept. Like I said, I can't wait to bring out that video, that offensive video. Then I'm going to finish him off with a screen play because nobody sees this coming. Nobody can see, uh, you know, when I run this offense, there's, there's so much stuff going on, so many moving parts. I just catch people in, sleeping out there. Sack on the defensive side, 14 nothing, super fast, still in the first quarter. Like I said, this is the only offense or the only defensive play I'm really going to run this entire game. You can see it shuts down the run because everybody's coming in. Everybody's flying in. Uh, we get a stop in the backfield there. I didn't even do anything. I just set up the defense. That's all I have to do. I have to worry about the run a little bit. For the most part, my concern is the passing. On the next play, once again, I get caught trying to set it up. But it is what it is because the sack comes in super fast. Get over here! And bails me out. That's Like I said, that's really the only issue. If somebody snaps a play before I get the full setup in... That's about the only time people have success against this defense. Otherwise, it shuts down just about everything. As you can see, the pressure coming off the edge Woo! instantly. You know what I mean? LeVar Arrington, who I just picked up, is just coming, flying off the edge and getting uh, getting either sacks or he's just knocking the ball out. He's just having a hell of a hell of a game in this in this, uh, in this this defense. So on the next play he's going for, once again, it looks like he's in the exact same setup. Now, this is what I meant by not being able to get the setup in time. The linebackers are all spread to hell all over the place. I try to fix it. I try to move the, the middle linebacker down because obviously that's important I try to get back on that safety and he hikes it as I'm trying to guess pass and it just shoots me forward and I was I should have been there you know what I mean that's the exact same play that my opponent that previous opponent ran Damn the it. exact same concept where he has the drag that pulls the the cornerback down and the fade over the top I would have been I would have been all over that if it wasn't for the fact that my opponent ran before I got the play set up in so I would say you can take two things from that number one the the drag fade concept obviously that's gonna be something that if you're going against this defense if somebody's running this against you that you can use uh, but number two I would say run a hurry up offense with very few audibles if, if you run to people running this defense that's going to be one of the best things you can do is run a hurry up offense with very few audibles that's going to be your best bet now on the other side I mean obviously I'm still running this exact same speed option it's super annoying it's so hard to stop you can see him getting 10 yards every clip like I said I'd like to break this down tomorrow in a in a practice mode so hit the like button or let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see this breakdown in practice mode before I break it down in gameplay uh, and then on the very next play here I mean I thought I had this nope. but this crosser gets picked up by the cover three and you can see he gets an interception and he might have got ball back but he doesn't want to have ball where he's at as we get a sack on the very first play pushing him back to the one so now he's got his back against the goal line we have a defense where we're basically sending pressure every single play uh, second and 17 from the one I mean like I said this is not a good position he probably should just let me score <laughs> Almost get an interception. Like I said, the the coverage is so tight on this play, especially if you make him throw the ball quickly. Next play on third and 17, I can't see the full field. I thought that I was looking at every receiver, but sure enough, he's in that exact same five wide look. I at least react to it this time uh, as he beats me over the top, but at least I save a touchdown. So like I said, you got to look out for that concept. We're running a hurry up now, like he's having success. Like I said, a hurry up is a good move because there is quite a bit of a setup, but you can see on the next play, I mean, I get it all in. We get two guys right in uh, Russell Wilson's face. We get uh, basically a gets a throw out of sack and he loses yards anyway even though he caught it he still lost yards next play he tries to switch me up with some crossers but nah bro gotcha bitch he could go all the way if you use this defense properly you will score more touchdowns on defense than your opponent will on offense i promise you as we take it back to the house uh, we're up 21 7 like i said my opponent here is not in a good spot but he's lasted longer than my other opponents which is surprising like i said to me this defense is like a good watch team. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Three sacks, all of them from LeVar Arrington. That's all the sacks I have from this entire game uh, is all from LeVar Arrington coming off the edge. So it's very consistent. But like I said, if you keep an eye on the middle linebacker, he comes shooting up the pipe half the time too. But there's just no way to block all this. So second and 18, he's still losing yards. He caught that ball just barely. And he's calling timeouts. I mean, things like timeouts, running hurry up, these are all things you do when you're having success. And this guy's doing it as he's moving backwards. I mean, it's just insane. I know there's nothing you can do against this defense. It is what it is. Then in second and 18. Run, bitch! Run! tries to hit me with some crosses again. He's running for his life the second he hikes the ball, and he basically just runs himself right into a safety. You can't escape this pressure. It's just not possible. So that's it. That's the video. LeVar Arrington, four sacks uh, in a half uh, running this defense. I mean, this is just its one of the craziest defenses in the game. My opponent's going to quit just shortly. If you guys want to see more videos like these, more gameplays, more defensive videos, more blitzes, uh, or you want to see that uh, gameplay I was talking about with the offense, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show 
monetary support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.